Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling Down the Road on Guns. Back in the day when Trump was president, we had these remarkable pitched battle street scenes in Seattle and Portland. There were armed law enforcement actors in unmarked uniforms attacking civilians. They were never held accountable. It was reminiscent of the brown shirts. With the expansion of guns and the right-wing base in this country, one wonders whether these events will repeat and expand into a daily cross-country Christmas tree of shootings, where more and more unhinged people have more and more guns and are shooting more and more victims in more and more places everywhere. The common denominator is that these shootings are always initiated by people armed with more and more powerful weapons against ordinary people who are unarmed, defenseless, and completely vulnerable. Like, for example, children in a school. How can we stop these mass murder assassinations? How can we come back from this nightmare, where murderers are well-equipped and free to kill whoever they want, where Congress does nothing, where the Supreme Court makes it worse, and where state legislatures simultaneously expand gun rights and guns? It's madness. We seem oblivious to the deadly terrorism across town, or maybe across the street, and the fact that the world looks at us and wonders whether we've lost our minds to let this happen. At the same time, there are those in other countries who have started to copycat our madness with their own mass shootings. This increasing gun violence and bloodshed, combined with the government's monumental failure to do anything about it, has had an undeniable and dreadful effect on our national psyche and thus our nation. No surprise that people who worry about sending their kids to school have become depressed. These phenomena, taken together, are not only irrational, they reflect and also cause a loss of confidence in ourselves, our neighbors, and our country. We have never been faced with this level of threat before, where random violence shadows us every day and defines the quality of our lives and community and our national state of mind. When exactly will we come together to recognize how dangerous this is, not only for those among us who might become tragic targets, but for all of us who are affected by the resulting collective sense of insecurity and fear? This state of affairs is untenable and inconsistent with the continuation of our democracy. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.